Girls Championship game of the Cashin County Line Tournament. This should be an exciting game. I'm looking forward to it. We talked about it earlier. We, the girls had to wait a little longer because of the third place game. So spend a little time walking through the starting lineup here real quick for the Alva Lady Goldbugs. It will start number 10, Lexi Ream. Number 11, Peyton Jones. You're going to hear those two girls' names a lot. Number 22, Chloe Durkee. Number 25, how do you pronounce that one? You want to help me out? I guess Acacia. Acacia. Acacia Charles. Number 32, Rihanna Clark. And starting for the Dale Lady Pirates, number 21, Danyan Lang. Number 5, Elaine Witt. Number 23, Faith Wright. Number 13, Mackenzie Gill. And number 24, Libby Johnson. And just kind of, I know, Austin, you haven't had the ability to watch either of these teams yet. I've seen, I saw Dale play yesterday. I've seen him a ton. You have a ton of familiarity with Coach Smith. Um, you know, obviously, a lot of people do. He's had a lot of success everywhere that he's been. He had a ton of success at Alva. This will be kind of an interesting matchup for him. Coach Horn has done a fantastic job. Um, a pupil of Eric's. Um, he was an assistant with Eric for years. So one thing about Dale, kind of right off the bat, they've experienced quite a, quite a few injuries. A lot of teams experience injuries, but they've had probably two of their best players hurt with ACLs, unfortunately. One I know that's uh, going on to play at East Central University. Um, but for the Lady Bugs, they've been healthy all year, and they're going to rely on number 10 and number 11. Um, it should be exciting to see what Dale does. Dale's going to want to cause a lot of pressure, you know, and uh, Alva's going to want to do everything through Ream and Jones. Looking forward to it. going to be a fun matchup. Alva gets the tip. Looks like Dale is going to be face guarding Jones, and that would be a, a good idea. Start in a T and one. Yeah. There. Walk, travel early on. Yeah, that is where well, there's face guarding and there's face guarding. And, and, and I can already <laughs> tell you that that was very much the latter. That's the no catch. Yep. I've seen that implemented earlier on this year. Um, Typically, you see coaches stick the player in the corner yep. up top and let go play four on four. Different ways you can attack it. I'm sure it's not the first time she's been guarded like that. Elaine Whitney drives corner pass to 24 Libby Johnson. Back out to Witt. Witt over to 21. Sorry, 23. Faith Wright. Dale's going to be patient with the ball. Libby Johnson. Mackenzie Gill. So like we've got a little confusion on defense right now, so who's guarding who? Had some girls from Dale running free along the baseline, but weren't able to pick them up. Coach Smith's content to just keep this game slow and spread the floor. Dribble drive by Witt, loses, loses control of it. Ooh. Which looked like a travel there. Wow, yeah. Ball yeah. on the baseline. He was in, a, in no man's land down there. Ball will go back to Alva. 22, Chloe Durkee will inbound. 32, Rihanna Clark. A little token pressure from Dale here. They're kind of doing a little a bit of a run and jump man trap here. Out the press out of the gate. The Durkee out top, right side to Ream. Ball screen. Ream back over to the corner to Durkee. Kind of scrum, and we're going to get a foul. Our first foul of the game is going to be by, called on 25, Acacia Charles. Bit of a sloppy start here. Both teams turning it over on consecutive possessions here. Looks like Coach Smith is going to keep it spread out, which makes sense because of Gale is quick. They got to play a lot of guards. Typically pretty solid off the dribble drive. So if you've watched Dale over the years, you've seen Witt, even though she's, I believe, only just a junior this year. I believe she started since her freshman year for them. Good player as well as 21. Uh, Daniel Lang, she's a she's a, a junior as well and has played, I believe, has started for the last three years for Dale as well. The old gamesmanship, Keeney. Yeah. Know your opponent, well, right? Coach Smith, uh, his track record speaks for itself, so he knows what no he's doubt. doing. It'll be interesting to see how many of his tricks that Dusty Horn 
he showed Dusty Horn back in the day yeah. and how many he kept for himself, you know. No doubt. So. Well, I know that uh, Coach Smith made the trek to Alva a few weeks ago to watch Alva and Chisholm play because my wife told me that he was there. Okay. Eric's not well, afraid to go scout. No, he knows the way to Alva. He does. Probably had him some Taco Village while he was there. No, number one, rice instead of beans. Oh, man. One meat, one cheese enchilada. <laughs> I could eat one of those, uh, the Sancho plate. I could have three oh, of them man. right now. Let's go. Shot missed by Ream. Back the other way. Lang, corner. We'll have to suffer through Ison's chicken instead. It's true. 0-0 zero, zero so far early in the game. This will be a quick one. Yeah. This is the kind of game the officials like. Yep. They don't really earn their money, but... Wit out top, corner three, deep, off the back of the iron. Nice rebound by Long, wow. jump ball. Acacia Charles gets in there, we'll have a jump. Well, Acacia Charles is an aggressive player. She's already got one foul, and, and she was going right back after it there. It's probably why Coach Horn got her out. Didn't want to get her two quick ones here in the first quarter. Sophomore Brooke Perez checks in the game. Dale will have it underneath. I'm, I'm guessing Eric had to change the names of some of his inbounds plays. You're probably right. 21. Dylan Lang long on the three. Peyton Jones is the one that Alva will have to get going. She is a, a special player. Reach inside. Foul on Libby Johnson. Be her first, I believe. Actually played with Peyton Jones' dad in high school. And after... Watching her for these first few minutes, I think he, she probably got her athletic ability from her mom. <laughs> I think I believe they're sitting front row down there. Corner three, deep, no. Off the back of the honor, Perez with a rebound. rebound. Puts it back up and in. We have our first points of the girls' championship game. Two to nothing with 3.45 to go in the first quarter. Witt brings it down the four quickly. Pass out to Dylan Lang. I was just sagging, man. They're not really putting a whole lot of ball pressure. They're pretty much just standing inside the three-point line. Content to let Dale pass it around the outside. Right side to Witt. Nice little roll. Screen and roll. Nice play. Libby Johnson inside. Good Basket. pass. Good. Really good pass. Two to two. Just kind of lull them to sleep. Take your eye off of it, and you get slipped back door like that, and that's an easy bucket. Good, great pass. Nice pass. Basket good. Perez, a sophomore. Sophomore comes off the bench. Got all five, well four, hopefully five if you're a Lady Goldbug. Great job on the offensive end by Dale, but they didn't get back on defense. That was two quick passes and a layup. It was a great pass by Peyton Jones there. Free throw good, five to two. Witt with the drive, corner to Long. Sorry, Lang. They're pick and roll. Number four, J.C. McClure has checked into the game. Two nice little pick and rolls there by Dale, last two trips. Just couldn't get that one to go. Right side shot deep by Chloe Durkee. Durkee's one that, if she gets going from three-point range, spell trouble. You can tell Alva wants to push it. They are running every chance they get. It was a right idea by Jones. It's just kind of a sloppy pass. A lazy pass over the top. It's when you want to use the old bounce pass. J.C. McClure. J.C. McClure is a player that Typically plays starter minutes. She's just a kid that comes off the bench with one of the seniors for Dale. Good player as well. Her and, go ahead, sorry about her that. and Amelia Eidman have checked in. Both teams not afraid to go to the bench early. Boom, big three. That was a set right there. I don't know if you saw. Yep. Uh, Darren Lang. I guess it's, is it Dana? Danian? How do you say that? Danian? Danan. Danan. I like that. That was a lot better in my pronunciations. <laughs> Could be. Maybe they just moved the in over the Y. Just call her Dan. Dan. We'll call her. We'll just call her Lang. Okay. Five to five. Three 
Ooh, travel. Mm -hmm. She looked a little uncomfortable with yeah, that. Didn't know what she wanted to do with it. Witt brings the ball up the floor. Witt dribbling on Lopez. Corner. Good ball movement. Lang. Got it. Big shot. Eight to five. Pass into Jones. Jones bringing it up. They're keeping pressure on her, trying to get the ball out of her hands. I would no catch her to not let her get it back. Jones, hard dribble. That's what Jones does best there. She's great at getting to the goal. Important for her to stay patient. They're going to guard you like that all game. You can't let it get you frustrated and you start forcing it. She makes her living at the free throw line. The other night, um, the Wheat Capital, I watched them play and uh, I believe she scored 20 in the fourth quarter, and I think she was 12 of 12 from the free throw line. Wow. Her as well as 10 Reams both going to continue their basketball careers at Southern Naz University. Very similar looking players. Shot deep. No good. Eight to seven. Dale keeping that pressure up. At least it's token pressure. Again, just kind of trying to disrupt Jones a little bit, but it, clearly she's the uh, she's the straw that stirs the drink for this team. That's clearly evident this far into the game. Not a good pass there. 25, Acacia Charles with the, her second turnover. She turned it over earlier on on an earlier possession. Looks like she'll be coming out of the game. Rihanna Clark back in the game. Junior. Not a good pass. Ooh, they got lucky. out there. 23, uh, nice shot. Faith Wright, big three, 11 to seven now. 38 solid, seconds. Solid defense by Alva there, and, and Dale really just got away with one. Offensive, nice take. Looks like she may be hurt. Offensive foul on 32, Rihanna Clark. 13. Three turnovers in the last four possessions there for Alva. Number three, Amelia Eidelman takes the charge. She stays in. I'm guessing Dale's holding for the last shot here, 20 seconds left. Number 15, Anna Hesters checks in the game. Six foot junior, big old girl. Lang with the ball out top, nine seconds. Hands off to Witt. Witt with the dribble drive. Nice, nice take. Good spin move. She'll shoot it. Oh, mm. just short. Well, that will end the first quarter of the girls' championship game of the 2020 Cash and County Line Tournament. The Dale Lady Pirates lead the Lady Goldbugs of Alva 11 to 7. We'll take a break and we'll be back shortly. For 31 years and counting, Community State Bank has taken great pride in being your hometown bank. With branches located in Cashin, Dover, and Hennessy, CSB strives to reflect the small town hospitality these communities are known for. Our friendly staff is here to serve you and provide one of the best banking experiences around, equipping our customers with the latest in banking technology combined with a personal down-home relationship. Come into one of our local branches or visit us at www.mycsb.com. Community State Bank, small town banking, the way it should be. Member FDIC. Call Roloffs Inc. at 580 Roloff, a complete container service company for all your trash, demolition, cleanup, or scrap metal needs. We're a family owned and operated company with offices in Stillwater, Perry, and Enid. Call Roloffs Inc. 580 Roloff. Welcome back to the girls' championship game of the Cash and County Line Tournament. Keeney, tell me what your thoughts are so far early in this game. Well, it's clear there's 
two very different styles. Alva wants to get up and down the floor, and it's all running through Jones. Uh, Dale just super patient on offense, um, and they are getting the shots that they want, and they're knocking them down. Not a good pass. That's not what Coach Horn wants. Mm -hmm. Turnover again. I think that's the fourth straight turnover. And that's what you get when you start playing against teams like this that are so deliberate. You want to get it back on the offensive end so quickly that you get in a hurry, make bad decisions, and, and Alva's kind of unraveling here early. Nice cut. That was 13. Mackenzie Gill. They're going to double to get the ball out of Jones's hand, which is smart. Lexi Ream needs to get involved in this game. If Jones is going to be, they're going to defend her that way. She's going to take quick shots. But Lexi's a kid that she's a difference maker type kid too. Good strong move there. Nice shot inside by Keisha Charles. 13 to 9. Good dribble drive. Rushed the shot a little bit. Doing a good job of shutting Reen down. Face guarding her, she's... too. Now they're in a triangle in two, it looks like. Nice jump shot. Pull up jump shot. Oh, good. Good rebound. Lopez, a sophomore for Alba, has been big. Five quick points, and she's made some big plays under the basket, too. She's coming ready to play, that's for sure. Might have been yeah. shoved. Good call. Keisha Charles well, with the foul. She's an aggressive player, but she needs to kind of learn how to control that aggression a little bit. That's a couple turnovers, and she's that's her second foul. Wit inbounds. Nice little inbounds play there. Spread out, spread them out and, and get a cutter to the rim. That's a nice pass. JC McClure misses there. Chloe Durkey. To Charles. Charles with a nice move. Foul. Basket good. good. Nice shot. Good finish. Alva's been pretty stagnant on offense. Interested to see what sort of adjustments Coach Horn makes. Thirteen to eleven. Free throw up and good. Thirteen to twelve. It's a big three-point play for Alva. See how Dale responds. Corner three. Got it. Big shot. She can shoot it. Lang hits the three. Dannon. Thanks, Coach Sesh. <laughs> Jones all the way. Nice, nice take. Coach so Smith wanted somebody to step over and help there on the drive. And Witt drives down and loses control. Kick out to J.C. McClure. She drives. Nice scoop shot. Off the back of the iron. Case Charles with the rebound. Good Lopez. Great pass. Might have traveled. Jump ball. I believe, I believe that's Leland Searcy calling. Still. Called some of our games on. Wow. <laughs> if anybody's interested in signing up for officiating, you can reach out to the OSSA. Might be some spots opening up soon. I wouldn't want to come officiate a game and get screamed at by fans every night, too, mm -hmm. though. This would be a big shot here. Nope. Long. Good, good rebound. Out. Really good block out and there then by she Dale. reached over the top, and Smith wanted a foul. Lang again, no, front iron. Jump ball there. That will belong to Dale. 16-14 lead by for Dale with five minutes to go here in the first half of play in the Cashin County Line Girls Championship game. Got two ranked teams playing each other here. Alva ranked in 3A, Dale ranked in 2A. Good take. Call on the floor first as Emily Eidelman drives be Dale's ball underneath. I always like watching Eric's inbounds plays too. Usually got some good ones. Pretty creative. Oh, big shot. They are knocking down some shots. 13, Mackenzie Gill. 
That is good defense. Yep. Looks like number 20. Jaden Williams is freshman's checked into the game for Alva. Good rebound there by Perez. Golly. And she's come off the bench and made a huge impact here first well, in this first half. Three again. Wow. Kenzie Gill. She's also playing some serious defense, too. And Gill and Lang, I think that's about six threes here in the first, first half for those two. Somebody's not happy about a call. Smith is not. Good to see Coach Smith repping the Northwestern Rangers with the uh, <laughs> black suit, red it shirt, is. black tie combo. I like it. I like it. Jones, deep three. Deep. Boom. Wow. Got it. Give her any kind of space, she will drill it. 22 to 19. Nice dribble move by Witt. Just shoots it a little long. Reem's been big on the boards yep. for Alva. Oh, that's going to be that's offensive. Charge. Yeah, that's just – and that girl was set there. Two dribbles before she got to the rim, the girl was set. She should have – seniors got to recognize that, pull up and just hit that little eight-footer. No doubt. I mean, I called it before she was even yep. two dribbles away. Of course, I'm an expert, though. Yes, so. aren't we all? Yeah. We got a timeout on the floor. Looks like Coach Horn will take a timeout. Just going to be a 30 second, but we'll take a quick one with him. We'll be back shortly. Dr. Devin Nightingale is your chiropractic choice in North Edmond with easy access from Cashin, Guthrie, Luther, and all the Oklahoma City surrounding areas. As a former college athlete, Dr. Nightingale understands the importance of a fully functioning body to gain that competitive edge. Also certified in prenatal and pediatric treatments, Dr. Nightingale sees all types of patients, ranging from two weeks old to 97 years old. We offer conservative treatments to get you back in the game, whether you're a weekend warrior or a professional athlete. So give us a call at 405-471-5565 for a free consultation today. Welcome back to the girls' championship game in the Cashin County Line Tournament. 22 to 19, Dale leads by three. Really slow, and then all of a sudden we got quite a bit of action yep. here. Got some shots made, Peyton hits a three, so. They are, uh, Dale's knocking down some shots right now early. No doubt. I was doing a good job of weathering the storm, but. They're going to shoot like that all game. It's going to be a going to be a tough hill to climb for the Ladybugs. Big three by Jones there, last last possession. Witt with the drive, kicks it left side. Like a travel. Mid. Looks like another travel. Witt, nice take off the glass. 24-19. They are pestering. Ream and Jones. Yep. Some people call that defense Texas, or they call it triangle. She almost lost control of it there. Pass inside, Perez. Yep. Out of bounds. I don't know if either of them know who it went out on. I'm going to call it out on Dale. The ball will stay with Alva. 24-19. Lady Ladybugs inbound. America's play. Oh. It's amazing that people still get that play. I mean, they like to run it in the yep. Little Leagues, too. Yep. And it still works. Incredible. That's going up. Deep shot, no good. That's a tough shot. She can hit those shots, though. That's a 26-footer. Drive by Lang. Tough shot, man. I don't know if Coach Smith will like that shot. And that kind of got away from what they've been doing the last few trips. Well, every trip, really, is... You know, you're making six, eight, ten passes before you're even looking at a shot. And that time it was it was one and going up. Jones makes a great pass underneath and it gets tipped out of bounds. A freshman from the corner, bam, out a big shot. Left, left or wide open. Williams. Somebody fell asleep on the defensive end there. Big shot for a freshman, especially in a game like this. 24-22, Dale leads by two. With 2.28 to go in the first half. Witt drives, got by her easy, but then lost control of it on the scoop. And number 
Ball gets tipped out of bounds and goes back to the Lady Goldbugs. Good look ahead there. It was. Got it up the floor in a hurry. See if Reem can get going. Nice shot by nice Reem. Move. 24 all. The Lady Bugs with the tie. Now we got a little action here, Austin. Finally. Jump shot. Off the back of the iron, no good. Rebound by Jones, and she wants to really go. Look at, she's just kicking it out and pulls pull up. That's up. a hard shot. Yeah, that's a tough shot. Freshman, let it go again. Dale is tired. You know, that's one thing that, you know, it's clear that Alba's running it, and they're going to keep running it. Great timeout by Coach Smith because they look tired. We'll take a timeout with them. We'll be back at the girls' championship at the Cashin County Line Tournament. As an Edward Jones financial advisor, Austin Mason knows it's important to invest time to understand what you're working toward before you invest your money. It's also important to understand the steps necessary to reach your long-term goals. Whether you're planning for retirement, saving for college, or just trying to protect the financial future of the ones you love, Austin will develop specific strategies to help you achieve those goals. So visit edwardjones.com and search for Austin Mason or give him a call at 405-567-0511. For almost a century, Sooner Co-op has been at the heart of the communities they serve. In O'Keen, Fairview, Loyal, Hitchcock, and Homestead, Sooner Co-op has been a big part of the lives of area farmers, ranchers, and residents. Grain handling, fertilizer, farm and ranch supplies, fuel, tire service, and the convenience store in Fairview. The Sooner Co-op is proud to serve Blaine, Major, and Kingfisher counties for almost 100 years and looks forward to 100 more. Sooner Co-op is proud of our kids, whether a whippet, jacket, or a raider. Find them online at SoonerCo-op.com. Welcome back to the girls' championship game of the 2020 Cashin County Line Tournament. 24-24, we got a tie game. Started really slow. It's kind of sped up. Both of the team's better players are starting to hit shots, so I think it's going to continue to get better as we go. That was a hard post move there, Lang. Ooh. Nice out of bounds. They're out of timeout play there by Coach Smith. Just didn't get the shot to go. Ooh. Jones with the right idea, but... 22 was not looking, Chloe Durkee. I don't know, though, if it's necessary, if you need that throw. I mean, like, I don't know what you were going to do with that. No. I mean, Jones is, she's a talented player. Right. She needs to be thinking about her getting the ball on the half court. There was nobody yeah. really in front of her yeah. to stop the ball. You know, don't, if they're not stopping the ball, don't give it up. Good defense there by Jones. Yeah, nice play. Ream. Ream and Jones can run. Yep, they like to get it up and down the floor. A couple of blonde gazelles out there. Yep. I believe both of them are excellent high jumpers. In fact, I think they, at one time, because Reem used to be at Fairview, a lot of times finished one and two in the high jump against each other, so they might have a gold and a silver. A couple good athletes. There in Alva. Jones to the line. This is automatic. Oh, Whoa. that line. Jinxter. Wow. I did that earlier on with somebody. 58 seconds to go in the half. I'm guessing Coach Smith will try to probably run this one down as far as he can, and then I'm mm -hmm. guessing wrong. I don't know if it's Alva's tempo that's causing Dale to speed up a little bit as well, but they've definitely uh, gotten quicker the last few trips down. Jones just takes it down the floor. I mean, she's just a different kind of athlete than either team has. Right. 26-24 now. Lang for three with their feet set. Rattles off. Ball's lost out of control. So Alva leads 26-24, and I'm, I think that that may be their first lead of the game. I believe you're right. See what they do here. They're trying to get the ball out of Jones's hand. I don't know if she'll get it back. Pass inside to Perez. Oh, Lord cool. almighty. They left wow. her wide open. 28-24. Alva leads by four. Great way to close out the half for Alva. Shot is no good. And that will end the first half of play for the girls' championship game of the 2020 Cashin County Line Tournament. Lady Alva Goldbugs lead the Lady Dell Pirates 28-24.
talking about life insurance isn't always easy, but it is important. Your Farm Bureau agent, Chris Cochran and Cashin, can help you put a plan in place for those you care about most. Life insurance can help pay off the mortgage, take care of family or business expenses, or cover final costs should the unexpected happen. Take that first step towards securing your family's future with Farm Bureau and call Chris Cochran and Cashin today. And be sure to ask about college and retirement funding options too. We also do life insurance and annuity products offered through Farm Bureau Life Insurance Company. As a local member-owned electric cooperative, Cimarron Electric is committed to providing the highest quality of service at a reasonable price. We're dedicated to serving our member owners with integrity, accountability, innovation, and a commitment to community. For more information, call or visit our website. Cimarron Electric Cooperative, serving Northwest Oklahoma since 1936 and powering the needs of a new generation. Northwest Oklahoma is Croft country, and there's no better way to get around it than a vehicle from Croft Chevrolet Buick GMC at 401 East Oklahoma in Alva. They've got the best trucks on the road or in the field, the Chevy Silverados and GMC Sierra. Customize yours with a hay bed, and it becomes the ultimate farmer's office. The 2020s are here, which means you'll find great deals as they move out the 2019 model, not to mention a great selection of pre-owned cars and trucks. Go to CroftChevrolet.com and find your next vehicle. It's always better in the country. Croft country Chevrolet Buick GMC. FloorTech proudly serves schools across the state of Oklahoma with their gym floor and janitorial supply needs. When it comes to cellular service, why pay for data you don't use? Pioneer Cellular offers a variety of plans designed to give you the lowest prices on the data you and the others on your plan really need. That's why people all over are switching to Pioneer. Pioneer Cellular can save you money on your family plan, no matter how you define family. Do the math. Visit our website at gopioneer.com, call us at 800-641-2732, or stop by a local Pioneer store. Find out how much we can save you. Annual checkups, primary care provider, urgent health needs? Come see us at Cashin Community Clinic. With 10 years of experience in rural emergency and primary care, Cameron Hogan is ready to serve you. The Hogan family calls Cashin home and loves contributing through their local community clinic. We accept all insurances and offer very affordable cash pay options as well. So when the need arises from pediatrics to grandparents, call us at 405 433 5008 or come see Cameron Hogan PAC at the Cashin Community Clinic on Main Street. Go Wildcats! Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Athlete Care OKC helps you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, and functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to athletecareokc.com or call 405-632-4468. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Southwest Orthopedic and Reconstructive Specialists get you back on the court. Abernathy Aaron Funeral Home in Crescent, Oklahoma has provided decades of trusted service to the community. We are caring and experienced professionals who understand that each family is unique and has personal requests and traditions. These requests are of utmost importance to our staff. We would be honored to assist your family in this time of need. Abernathy Aaron Funeral Home, 201 North Hickory Street in Crescent, Oklahoma. Treating your family as our own. AbernathyAaron.com Welcome back to the girls' championship game of the 2020 Cashin County Line Tournament. Austin, let's uh, take a little bit of time here and walk through some scoring and kind of give everybody our uh, top-end expert breakdown of the first half. Uh, Dale Lady Pirates were led in scoring by I'm not even going to try to pronounce her name. I'm just going to call her Lang. There we go. With nine. Uh, Elaine Witt with two. Faith Wright with three. Kenzie Gill with eight. And Libby Johnson with two. Mackenzie Gill hit those two big back-to-back -back threes. On Alva's side, led up actually surprisingly, well, they have two leading scores, but Brooke Perez has been huge for the Lady Bugs. Uh, her nine points, and she, she scored quick coming out of half. Obviously, as you would expect, Peyton Jones with nine, but that's actually probably on the bottom end of what she typically scores. Lexi Ream with two, but Lexi's been huge in other places other than just scoring. Uh, we don't have rebounds officially, but I'm guessing she has somewhere in between six to ten rebounds. And Acacia Charles with five. And then the freshman, Jaden Williams, hits a big three there. So tell me your thoughts. It's, 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 it was a, it's a cool matchup. We have the whole Eric Smith and the Dusty Horn battle. Um, you know, one thing, both these schools do not have Squirtle streaming. 
So that would be the only failure that either of these teams have had so mm -hmm. far to this point in the year. Um, but uh, give they me probably would have won more games if they would have easily had won more games. There's no doubt in my mind they would have. Well, I think it's pretty clear what both teams are doing. Uh, Alva wants to get out and run. I mean, you've got you got Jones and Ream. They get it up and down the floor as quick as anybody you know I've seen girls basketball in a while. Um, and they want to get it out and run, and, and it, it, it started to take effect there towards the end. You could see Dale getting tired. Yes. Um, and then on the other end, you know, Dale is content to run their stuff as long as it takes to run it until they get the shot that they want. I don't know how you, from Alba's standpoint, what do you do defensively? I mean, they're playing that sagging man and kind of letting them move the ball at will. You might have to come out a little bit and get a little more pressure on the ball and get out in some passing lanes. As far as, you know, defensively, for, for Dale against Alva, they're doing a really good job uh, face guarding Jones. I think holding her to nine is you know, an accomplishment. Uh, Reem's been non-existent uh, pretty much everywhere except for the you know on the on the glass, but she hadn't gotten the scoring scorebook. So they're doing a good job defensively. I think for you know if you would have told Eric Smith he held those two combined to 11 points yeah. at halftime, no you take that. So yeah, no doubt. Um, no. The, the the as people refer to it the junk defense but the triangle or the T and two that they're running is is something common that Alva sees mm -hmm. um, you know it, it it obviously has affected them right. but what what Peyton does is she's just such a smart player mm -hmm. she knows she can get her points in transition yeah. and so right. if she gets the rebound she's gone mm -hmm. and like you said there's no one else on the floor that can run like her except right. for her teammate and right. they're obviously not going to run against each other so it's one of those things where you know it be, I'll be anxious to see how the second half goes kind of excited to watch we all know what both these coaches do a fantastic job Eric's going to have a lot of tricks up his sleeve too as well but you know first half I really enjoyed it was kind of slow we talked about right. that but then the pace picked up and we even brought brought in some taco village into the call into the into what the more call. could you ask for I want to give a quick shout out we got some first time school to listeners uh, nice. by the way some Alva right. folks I love that Tara Warwick and Jonathan and Jonathan Warwick sitting on their couch back in Edmond enjoying every minute of this action. That's great. Um, and, of course, the Sheever family, long-time uh, presence in, in Northwest Oklahoma high school basketball. Um, got Matt and Mitch Sheever on the I'm on, on the stream as well. I'm so, absolutely honored. I uh, mean. Pretty big deal. It's a huge deal. Yeah. I know Coach Feely is back at home watching as well. He shot me a couple text messages to let me know how terrible I am at this. So I appreciate his, uh, he is his constructive, constructive criticism. Right. You know, but uh, what I believe, uh, whether you know anybody out there, I, th I don't think there's two guys that are that are calling a high school girls game right now that are better experts of basketball than than we are. Um, and you can mix gazelles, yes. Taco Village, and girls basketball all into one one broadcast. What more could you ask for? Not many can do it better. I'll You're tell you welcome, what, America. Let's, yes, let's take a break. Let's let everybody soak that in for a little bit. And we'll take a break, and we'll be back in about a minute and a half, and we'll have the second half of this girls' championship game at the 2020 Cashin County Line Tournament. For 31 years and counting, Community State Bank has taken great pride in being your hometown bank. With branches located in Cashin, Dover, and Hennessy, CSB strives to reflect the small town hospitality these communities are known for. Our friendly staff is here to serve you and provide one of the best banking experiences around, equipping our customers with the latest in banking technology combined with a personal down-home relationship. Come into one of our local branches or visit us at www.mycsb.com. Community State Bank. Small town banking. The way it should be. Member FDIC. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Athlete Care OKC helps you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, and functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to athletecareokc.com or call 405-632-4468. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Southwest Orthopedic and Reconstructive Specialists get you back on the court. Welcome back. Girls championship game. Alba will start the second half with the ball. Dale's going to stay in that. High ball pick there. Nice skip. Great pass. Good. Nice little set out of the start the half there by the, the Ladybugs, that high ball pick and a great cross-court pass by Jones. She can really see the floor well. She can. Durkee's a good three-point shooter. That's clearly the shot they wanted. She's missed a few here in the first half, but she's one of those kids, when she gets going, it makes them so hard to guard. Mm -hmm. So 
29-24. Just like that, Al has extended their lead to six. 30 to 24. Witt with the ball up top. Ball screen by Johnson. Left side to Gill. Gill back up again. Gill get her own rebound. Ooh, looked like a travel there. Padding her stats. Witt from out top. Misses left side off the iron. That was a block. Offensive. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what a call. <laughs> I think uh, Eric bartered for one Ooh, earlier. Yeah. And then he. That's that what, was. Uh, he got it back. Yep. That was probably not a charge. Earlier on, you could question debatable yep. whether yep. it was a charge or a block. So. State championship coaches typically get calls like that. It's weird. It's weird how that works. Whip with the drive. I mean, if you're going to wear the, the red and black like Eric's sporting tonight, you deserve to get all the calls. And, now, and that's going against my, my Alva Gold, Alva Gold bug. <laughs> that's true. But you're you're referencing that based on Rod Ranger's ride. Absolutely. That was close. Skip pass to Charles. Still 30, 30 to 24. Alva can really kind of extend this lead here. B high ball screen. That ball was shot from just outside of Kingfisher, off the back of the iron. Alva going with Perez to start the second half. You got Clark on the bench. I like that. Rewarded for her first half production. Corner three, wide open. That was a might high have, arcing shot. Perez might have gotten away with one there, backed right into her on the, she let that go. That ball almost hit the ceiling tiles. Oh. Getting a little bit sloppy yeah. here. That's similar to the first half, the way this thing started. 30 to 24, Dale controls. Down six, Whit with the ball out top. See if they can get Lang going. She hit those three big threes in the first half. Oh, they got lucky there. Reem, Reem is a good defender, long and She's up close. Get quick hands. Pass to Johnson. Back to Witt. They're going to use a ball screen move. Nice drive. Really good, good at slipping that double. That defender from the corner slides over. She's awesome. Excellent slipping that you know, with that little low dribble there and getting to the rim. She missed about three or four of those in the first right. half. I will run that high ball pick again. Trying to get Reem involved. Reem with nice a move. great move. Nice show. Ooh, just rattled it right. in and out. Lang looking to push. Picks her dribble up to Johnson. Johnson, ball fake. She's going to drive all the way in. Nice take. Got Perez the foul. Johnson's typically not a threat, you know, off the dribble, but that was a good move on her part. She got her, got Perez up off the ground and got her draw the foul. First free throw good. You know, both these teams have so much tradition. I mean, if you're any common fan to basketball, you know, everyone's familiar with Dale's, you know, kind of extended tradition. I mean, Alva's had similar. I mean, Alva's had a ton of, you know, successful teams, a ton of great individual players over the years. It's really a, a cool matchup to get to watch. And then you throw in the dynamic of Eric having, having coached Alva and um, Dusty being an assistant under him, all that type of stuff. So it's it, it's been a – a fun game to cover so far. I'm not sure if they've matched up before. It's interesting. It is. Um, I mean, these two teams, you can pencil them in the state tournament pretty much every year. No doubt. Nice little take there by Clark. Good hustle by Perez. Um, you know, Alva went through a couple down years here recently, lost a bunch of good kids, and it, but it doesn't take him long. It's not a re, you know reload and rebuild kind of situation. These two teams really end up just – they reload. No doubt. If you want to know where those kids are, you just follow women's basketball in college – you're going to see rosters all over the place filled up with Alva kids and Dale kids. Yep. And just like what we're talking here, you have two from Alva going to play it um, in the GAC next year, and then you have one girl who unfortunately is hurt for the Dale Lady Pirates. That's the second time that's happened second with Reem. Yep. He needs to get the jump stop, go yep. straight up. And, and she's got the advantage athletically and height-wise. She doesn't really need to run in yep. there. She could just jump stop yep. and go up over the top, like you said. Exactly. Once again, just showing our expertise yep. with basketball. 
I don't think the listeners are quite appreciating what we're giving them right now. You ever heard the saying of you have to constantly give yourself self confidence because you know how terrible the job you're doing? Oh, yeah. 30 to 28. Lady Bugs have been stuck on 30 here for a couple of minutes. Dale mixing up to bring in a little more pressure off the in the full court off the inbound. Looks to be just a man press, but again, trying to speed them up, make them do something different, get uncomfortable. So one thing I wanted to bring up, Austin, since you're on the airway, being a former Alva Goldbug graduate, and I myself being a Fairview Yellow Jacket graduate, growing up in that area of the state, I was constantly made fun of about being orange and black and being a Yellow Jacket, but is a Goldbug what is a gold bug? Like, can we get verification on that? I mean, painted on the side of the wall of the gym. It's a symbol <laughs> of excellence. Okay. That's that's all that needs to be said about it. I think our record speaks for itself. <laughs> I just need some official clarity. But Kingfisher can rock blue and gold because you see a lot of ye gold bu or right. yellow jackets that look that way too. You know. I, you know. I mean, I guess the person that named the yellow jackets in Fairview was colorblind <laughs> at the time that whole process transpired. I'm not really sure, but. Life's great mysteries right there. They are. We just needed to get that one out there. We haven't talked about ourselves enough on this stream. Mm -hmm. so. Listen, we can start breaking down uh, Wheat Capital Tournament stats and, and all tournament teams if you guys want to get into that. That's true. From the 90s. Errant pass by Dale, and Alva will have it back. See if Peyton can get going. Deep three. Got it. Oh, oh, it looked like it. Looked like it went in. Good nice, follow. Nice work yeah. there. It's good to see Durkee getting, you know, getting her points inside closer to the goal because she's been struggling from outside. So that's what you like to see out of a player. It was really crashing the offensive glass. Last few trips paid off for him. 32-28. Three minutes to go in the third. Dale has still struggling to get on the board. Got a wide open shot for three. Big three. Huge. J.C. McClure. J.C.'s another one of those kids that plays starter minutes. She just comes off the bench. Dale's got some girls that can shoot it. And that's really the way you're going to neutralize Jones. Nice just take. constantly pushing the ball up the floor as you get, make your shots and set your defense. 34-31. Jones just did a fantastic job splitting the screen and scooping. That's a You can't guard that shot. Yep. Not at this level. Right side drive, Witt gets by her girl. She had a lot of those shots in the first half she wasn't getting. In this half she is. Coach Smith wants to talk about it. I'm sure he's not happy about the basket on the other end by Jones. We'll take a quick timeout with him. We'll be back in 30 seconds for the girls' championship game. back the girls championship game of the 2020 county line tournament here at Cashin. I want to thank our sponsors as you see them rotating into the bottom corner and then their commercials whenever we're not talking about ourselves. Alva will inbound underneath here with 2.30 to go in the Ooh, third quarter. What? That's, that's that half court line. That's that's that looked that like she went over and back. I think, I think Peyton has decided that she's going to take this one into her yeah. own hands. Well, until they do anything to stop her, I don't, I don't see why not. Her performance, I watched her in the week capital in the fourth quarter. of she, Like I said, she scored 20 points in a quarter, and it was very impressive. Green pulls up, Let's got pull it. Up. Nope, missed it. I got to quit calling shots mm -hmm. that aren't going in. Dale brings it back the other way, 34-33. See what Coach Smith can get here. Nice look, Good nice deal. defense by Jones. Faith right to Witt. Witt has had a lot of success getting by her girl, so we'll see if they keep that. Nice she take. She loves that high ball pick. Yeah, she does. That's a tough shot. Jones coming back the other way. 
I'm going all the way if I'm her. Durkee. No. Mm, that and one needs some production from somebody besides besides Jones. They got it from Perez in the first half, but really don't have anybody doing it here in the second half yet. Got some excitement from the Lady Bug fans. I appreciate that. I respect questionable. that. Questionable. A little questionable block call there, especially after the one that you know we saw right off the right out of the gate there against Jones here in the start of the second half. Gold Bugs coming out in Keeney. I can't help it. Pass into the corner, wet underneath. Nice move. The coach Corey Miller sent us a text message to let us know that we're doing an okay job. So hey, I'll take o from him. I'll take okay. He's another Northwestern grad. He's a Ranger. Wit to the free throw line, Mrs. Long. Chisholm is a streaming school partner of Squirtle. We, we appreciate them. Coach Reinert, Coach Gragg, and Coach Miller, as we just touched on. They're believers in the product. 34-33. I know Coach Smith is not going to be happy about that missed free throw from Witt. See if they can tie it up here. Free throw good. We have a tie game, just like what we should in the girls' championship game. Alva has six fouls. That'll be something to keep an eye on going into the fourth quarter. Both teams using their best ball handlers and just running that high ball pick. Seems to be working fairly well. They kind of use it differently. You know, I think Witt's looking more, got the got the roll and looking to go get that little scoop shot. You know, Jones can do whatever she wants with it. But Jones's length is going to be tough yeah. to deal with. That's a great shot there. 36-34, big shot by Jones. Green was suffocating defense. Nice take by Witt. Yeah. That's a great well, she move. Is, she is really good at getting to the rim. I mean, shortest girl on the floor, and she has no trouble getting to the bucket. Nice step wow. through by Jones. Great take. 38-36. Pace picked up just like that. Witt out top. These two teams are exchanging buckets. Witt kicks, corner, laying three, short. She loved that shot in the first half. Couldn't she get did. it to go there. Sophomore Perez with a big rebound. Perez is having a heck of a game. Alva pushes down Good to Reem. Pass. Reem falling away, just short. Should have went straight up on that shot. Yep. Witt controls, 14 seconds to go. Smith, Smith will want him to get a good shot here. They'll probably get one. Eight seconds. Go back to the high ball pick. No doubt. They're just going to go flat. Witt drives, good puts defense. the elbow That's out, really got her. Defense. Great defense. She didn't get that call two trips ago and got it that time. Offensive foul. Coach Smith did not like it, but it's the right call. Inbound to Jones. Jones steps through. Oh, oh wow. man, almost got it. Well, that will end the third quarter of the girls' championship game of the Cash and County Line Tournament. We have a game exactly how we thought we would. The Lady Bugs of Alva lead the Lady Pirates of Dale 38-36. We will take a break, and we will be back shortly. Talking about life insurance isn't always easy, but it is important. Your Farm Bureau agent, Chris Cochran and Cashin, can help you put a plan in place for those you care about most. Life insurance can help pay off the mortgage, take care of family or business expenses, or cover final costs should the unexpected happen. Take that first step towards securing your family's future with Farm Bureau and call Chris Cochran and Cashin today. And be sure to ask about college and retirement funding options too. We also do life insurance and annuity products offered through Farm Bureau Life Insurance Company. FloorTech proudly serves schools across the state of Oklahoma with their gym floor and janitorial supply needs. Welcome back live to the girls' championship game, Cashin County Line Tournament. Excited to watch this fourth quarter. Austin, tell me what your thoughts are about everything and how you think this one's going to end up. Well, 
Peyton Jones, as you said earlier, she's she's taking this thing into her hands, and and her teammates have done a very good job of, of stepping up in the spots that they that she needs them to step up in. You know, she's hitting them with the with an open look, and they're hitting their shots. Um, Dale, I mean, the difference in, in them getting a lead and then being tied, you know, or, or down two here, you know, they're up early. They hit their shots in the first half. They're not knocking them down right now. Yep. And they're going going very heavy with Witt on that high ball pick and just hoping she can get to the bucket. But I'd look for McKenzie, uh, what's her last name, 21? Lang. Lang. Yeah. Look for her in the corner. Jones kicks. Durkee got it. Just like that. It's big. That's, what, that's normally her role. And look, that's the first three she's hit, and that was a huge shot. Extends the lead to five. 41-36, nice move inside. Quick answer back from the Lady Pirates. Dale's had some success whenever they've picked up the pace a little bit. No Alba doubt. Expects them to get back and do their, their usual five-minute offense. Good nice answer. hands, good hands, good steal. Ooh, they called a foul there. That might be on Peyton Jones. I don't believe she's in foul trouble. I don't think we have any kind of serious foul trouble, which is good, because you want the best players to just her second. Now, that is seven fouls pretty early into the quarter, so typically well-coached teams and disciplined teams are good free throw shooters too, so. So we have some discussion going on outside of the stream about what I brought up. So well, it's always I mean, ruffled getting, some feathers. Getting some slander from the Fairview contingent, which is to be expected. I mean, you know, <laughs> Both free throws what, what are you hit. expect? It's true. 41-40. And just to clarify, a gold bug is not a fancy dung beetle. <laughs> Contrary <laughs> to popular belief in Major <laughs> County, it still remains a symbol of excellence in Woods County. It's true. Great shot there by Jones, just rattling it out. Dale will get the ball back. Dale gets a bucket here, kind of puts a little bit different pressure. Yep. Alva's kind of had a, a little bit of a lead here that they've they tried to extend out, but this game has been fantastic. I don't think anybody's had more than a five-point lead, five or six-point lead. So It's going to be one of those last team to get the ball wins, I think. Or, or whose best players can make right. plays. Lang right side. That's up back to right. Right to Witt. Dale kind of slowing it back down a little bit. I think that's smart. Lang kicks. You see McClure. a lot of this five out offense from girls teams today. They missed a lot, a lot of, of shots right around the basket. Nice move by Jones, but she gets it taken away from her. And the ball gets turned right back over on the other end of the floor. Irene, nice take. Stop. Durkee. Nobody's stopping the ball. Pass on the left, inside to Perez. Perez, nice post move. Ooh. Oh, in and out. Perez is a good little player. Well, she is. She's got a ton of upside. She's got a great feel for the ball. She will go to the line. See if she can extend this lead to three. We still have a one possession game. 5.43 to go, the girls' championship game. Perez, first one's good. Tickles the twine. Keeney, I thought I'd get some like onions calls from you. Or well, I'm feeling my way out. Listen, we got the championship game coming up, the boys, boys side of the bracket. I don't want to get, get all my best stuff out just yet. Good point. And I'm not sure how onions works in a girls' game. So <laughs> it's true. Well, both free throws are hit, and uh, in in fashion as Eric Smith or Dusty Horma do, we're going to call every timeout we have available to we us. Have to. So it's 43 to 40. We'll take a quick timeout. We'll be back shortly. As an Edward Jones financial advisor, Austin Mason knows it's important to invest time to understand what you're working toward before you invest your money. It's also important to understand the steps necessary to reach your long-term goals. Whether you're planning for retirement, saving for college, or just trying to protect the financial future of the ones you love, Austin will develop specific strategies to help you achieve those goals. So visit edwardjones.com and search for Austin Mason or give him a call at 405-567-0511. For almost a century, Sooner Co-op has been at the heart of the communities they serve. In O'Kane, Fairview, Loyal, Hitchcock, and Homestead. 
Sooner Co-op has been a big part of the lives of area farmers, ranchers, and residents. Grain handling, fertilizer, farm and ranch supplies, fuel, tire service, and the convenience store in Fairview. The Sooner Co-op is proud to serve Blaine, Major, and Kingfisher counties for almost 100 years and looks forward to 100 more. Sooner Co-op is proud of our kids, whether a whippet, jacket, or a raider. Find them online at SoonerCo-op.com. Back to play. Dale will control. Florida down 43-40 with 5.38 to go. The girls championship game. Ashton County Line Tournament. Two great teams, as we've talked on many times, two great traditions, two ranked teams. It's been a fantastic game to watch so far. Well played on both sides. Shop three deep. Rebound. That's the shots Dale was getting to, go, to fall for him during the first half and kind of a lid on this end of the floor for him here in the second half. Witt drives again. Ooh, got Loses away with control. the carry there. She did. Kick over to Durkee. And Durkee in the corner to Clark. Clark with the drive. Looked look like, like she, she stepped, stepped out, out of bounds. And traveled. Perez. All got kinds it. of things going on in that possession. None of which mattered. Just a bucket for Alva, I guess. 45 to 40 now. Perez has been huge in this game. Witt drives, misses. Jones, right rebound. You gotta get a body on her. Big answer by Dale, 45-42. Like we talked about, every time somebody gets five or four or six points, mm -hmm. you know, right it's cut right back. Dribble by Jones, that could have been Two good teams that have been in some battles. Perez, Perez again. again. She's all over the place. The sophomore is an animal. She has played up. Huge role in this game. Mm -hmm. She's picked up the, the slack for Reem. Just had an off night, and she's she's picked it up and ran with it. 15, around 15 or 20 points for sure, and I don't know how many rebounds. And she's played huge minutes here this whole second half. 47-42. See if Dale can answer. Coach Horn did a good job, and he switched Jones off on Witt with her yep. length. Lang in the corner. This would be big. No. Rebound Reem. I was going to run it. Three and a half minutes, or almost just under four minutes to go. Oh, Good Durkee hands. loses control of it. Here comes Witt back the other way. Witt wants to take it. Nice take. Got it. Got Alva at their own game there. Alva yeah. didn't get back. Wonder if they're getting a little gassed. Looks like Jones was tired, too, because she's usually the fastest person on the floor. And yeah. She had kind of a sprint on there up the left yeah. side. Neither team plays a whole lot of girls going to be on the floor. Jones will go to the free throw line, and as I mentioned earlier, she's automatic, and she missed it. So right. I will not say that. Leave it alone. I will. Back to Taco Village real quick. Oh, man. I mean, they're not even a sponsor of ours, but we're giving them some serious props. I mean, I know the rule is no free ads, but how can you not? They're getting them today. I took my dad and my stepmom there before last Saturday's Lady Ranger game. Super Dave enjoy himself. Oh, uh, he loved it. We had the special, the three taco special. Ooh. It was a good special. Yeah. I've never yeah. heard of that one before. Well, it's much better than two taco special, <laughs> let me tell you. You need three. Yep. Both free throws up and good. 49-44. Lady Bugs lead by five. Nail. A three would be big for them. I mean, obviously right. any basket, but a three right. I think kind of changes things a little. Nice take. Or an old-fashioned three-point yeah. play. They also have some, su some success there, that dribble drive from the top of the key. 13, McKenzie Gill to the line. McKenzie's had a good night on both sides of the ball. She's been having to face guard Jones most of the game. She's a satellite free throw shooter. She's putting it way up there. That's like in drone territory. The uh, ceiling is just high enough to avoid it. A lot of free throw shot doctors out there would be proud of that cookie jar. Oh, nice. Oh, she had it. I was getting sloppy with it. They're definitely pass. making an effort to get the ball out of Jones's hands. No, no doubt. That was a really lazy pass. Reem's got to come up. Take a little ownership in this thing here. Try to close it out. 49-46. Alba with the ball. We're getting close to getting under three minutes. Jones all the way to the basket. 
Might have got away with the push off there. 51 to 46. Like elbow kind of flailed a little bit, but no call. Sometimes when you're that good, you just get the call. Mm -hmm. Alva's back to kind of sagging off, which is smart. Quarter three, this would be huge. Got it. Got Big shot by Amelia Eidelman. 51-49, huge three. And what do you know, another timeout. We'll take it with them. We'll be back shortly. When it comes to cellular service, why pay for data you don't use? Pioneer Cellular offers a variety of plans designed to give you the lowest prices on the data you and the others on your plan really need. That's why people all over are switching to Pioneer. Pioneer Cellular can save you money on your family plan, no matter how you define family. Do the math. Visit our website at gopioneer.com, call us at 800-641-2732, or stop by a local Pioneer store. Find out how much we can save you. Welcome back to the girls' championship game of the 2020 Cashin County Line Tournament. We have two and a half minutes to go. Alba leads 51 to 49. This has been an exciting second half. A lot of ac actions picked up a lot. Dale trying to do whatever they can to get the ball away from Jones, making some other girls try to make a play, and Alba's kind of having a tough time with this press. Great catch by Durkee. As I say Perez. that, they just shred it and get away. Up. The pass that Smith wanted stolen, they mm -hmm. had an opportunity on. And they didn't get it, right. and that led to the easy bucket. Yep. And then they turn it over on the other end. Let's see if they get back in it here. 53-49. Dale will stay in their pressure. That's the risky run. Making such an effort to get the ball out of Jones's hands, and you're putting it on the free throw line. Jones to the line, where I believe she's only missed one free throw because I jinxed her. 53-49. Basket's good. 54-49. These two free throws are big. Second free throw short, short. but they got the rebound. Who is it? Perez keeps it alive. Got the tip to Reem. 55-49. Two minutes to go. Nice take. Yep. Mackenzie Gill, strong to the basket. 55-51. to Here comes Jones on the other end. Gill and Witter having some real success getting to the rim. Perez is dominating, folks. She has been a force. Onions. Ever we talked about Reem and Jones, but Perez has been... Probably the biggest key to the win She's winning this the game. Maker right it's now. been super impressive. Jones has done all she can do. Jones done all she can do, yeah. and Alvin needed a spark because I don't. For one reason or another, Reem's just not her night tonight, no. and, and Perez has been the difference maker. She has been. It's been impressive to watch. You always like to see that kind of stuff, and you know, for Coach Horn going into the playoffs, having a kid like that have a big game here. That, that could be something that could spark them the rest of the way. You know, you add a third element to their threat. And and their you know, Alva's role players are great. You know, we're not demeaning any player on Alva's team. I'm just saying that, you know, Perez has shown flashes of being a kid that can get you a bunch of points. 15 points and eight or nine rebounds. That take that every single game. It's been impressive. Dale with the ball, 57-51 coming out of timeout. After once again a just incredible breakdown by Austin and I. We're not even getting paid to do this, folks. <laughs> Witt drives in. We'll have a jump ball underneath, and I believe that will stay with the Lady Pirates. Fifty-seven, fifty-one. I'm gonna bring a towel out. I feel floor. like Dale needs a bucket here. Yes. Be big if they could hit a three. A, keep it at one possession, two possessions, possibly one possession, but. Big shout out to uh, our two cameramen doing a fantastic job. That's going to be a push on Ream, and that's actually a that's a big thing for uh, for Dale because they're going to be able to score yep. without any time going right. on the clock. 
Mr. Obvious is what they call me sometimes. First free throw up, pretty good. Amelia Eidelman. Amelia is not a starter. She's another kid that's played really well for Dale, too. Dale finds a way to win this. She may be that Perez type kid. Yep. She hits there, too, as well. Wow, good steal. Just barely out of bounds. 57-53. Great pass, Perez. Filling up the stat sheet, folks. Jones and Perez have just been, they've had a little connection going here this second half, and, and Jones is, you know, clearly relinquishing some control on this game, letting, letting Perez get some looks. Missed three out top by Witt. Rebound by Lang. Back to Witt. Basket good. 59-55, and guess what? Another timeout. Hey. I mean, how many timeouts do they have? Does anybody know? Your sponsors have got to be thrilled. They are. Let's take a timeout because we got a full speaking of sponsors. We're going to pay some bills. We'll be back shortly. Dr. Devin Nightingale is your chiropractic choice in North Edmond with easy access from Cashin, Guthrie, Luther, and all the Oklahoma City surrounding areas. As a former college athlete, Dr. Nightingale understands the importance of a fully functioning body to gain that competitive edge. Also certified in prenatal and pediatric treatments, Dr. Nightingale sees all types of patients, ranging from two weeks old to 97 years old. We offer conservative treatments to get you back in the game, whether you're a weekend warrior or a professional athlete. So give us a call at 405-471-5565 for a free consultation today. Welcome back to the girls' championship game, and as we wait for the boys' game to begin, it looks as if though OCS's student section, I believe that's who that is, has brought about three and a half foot tall construction cones into the gym. I don't know. I don't know what kind of an operation Cashin's running here, allowing people to bring construction I mean, cones into the gym. Do we get those from the parking lot, or I don't know. What are we doing with? Probably off. Cones? I'm going to guess off of uh, 74. You could can be. Yeah, <laughs> it's been your, under construction since 1981. Have as many as you want. So buy Port one get one free. Portland. Lady Bugs inbound and Jones just does whatever she wants to dribbling. Durkee yeah, thought about a three. Really. That was a smart choice. Yep. Kicks out to Jones. They're yeah, going to keep it in her hands. Is, the paw is blocking that half court line, but boy, she is flirting with the with the back court there. This they, is the spot that, that Dale does not want to be in. Peyton, Down four with her at the line. No doubt, 59-54. Peyton Jones is going to have a long career playing basketball. It's been a lot of fun to watch. I will be honest with you, will not enjoy watching her play against the Lady Rangers. I, I mean, I how does Tasha let her get out of town? That's what I want to know. Yes, we blew it. Second free throw up and good. 61-55. <laughs> Got to get a quick bucket here. Wit, nice block, block by Reem. Even the Crossings kids like that one. Nice. 27 seconds. This one's about over with. Good take. 61-57. Can't let Jones catch the ball. I don't know why Reem's not up there. more involved. Jones is going to just dribble this one out. There's a foul. If I, I will give Dale a ton of props. They have, you know, I, I talked to Coach Smith a couple weeks back and to, and to to play a game this close to a team like Alva, considering what you've lost. You know, we don't have to keep patting Eric on the back. Right. Everybody knows what kind of a coach he right. is, but they have had some big losses this year. And the girl they lost that's going to East Central is a heck of a player. So um, he, he does a fantastic job of, no of doubt. putting his players in positions to be successful, and he, and he can adapt that to, to their strengths. And he's, he's done it for years. He's done it at every school he's been at with – all kinds of different teams. No yeah. doubt. And, I, and, and Coach Horn has done a fantastic job this year. Um, you know, every game I go and watch him, he does a great job. And he knows who to get the ball to. He's he uh, he's looked like a great coach tonight because of the way Perez has Absolutely. played. Absolutely. Yep. And we talked about that. But that could be a that could be a difference maker when you're a sixth or seventh ranked team in a class and you're trying to yep. get to a state tournament. Having that third big yep. player like that puts you over the top. Right. So. And, and he's, he stayed with the hot hand. I mean, she's not a starter, but she – 
did what she did to start the game, and, and she's played starter minutes. I don't know if she's come off the floor in the second half. I don't believe and she has. Not, co not many coaches would, would uh, have the confidence in a sophomore to uh, put them in a spot like this and just say, go get it, and she's done a great job of responding. No doubt. We have a six-point game. There's 14 seconds to go. This one looks like it's all but over, um, other than some type of a miracle here. Yeah, Alvin just needs to sit back as far away from the ball as possible. Dale's going to roll it up, at least try to. Witt takes it up top. I'm guessing she's going to take it all the way, and that's actually Alva was smart. And what do you know? We got another timeout. We'll get some extra time. Do we have a 30 or a full? We're going to do a full. So I'll tell you what, let's pay some more bills again, and we'll be back here shortly to finish up the championship game. Abernathy Aaron Funeral Home in Crescent, Oklahoma, has provided decades of trusted service to the community. We are caring and experienced professionals who understand that each family is unique and has personal requests and traditions. These requests are of utmost importance to our staff. We would be honored to assist your family in this time of need. Abernathy Aaron Funeral Home, 201 North Hickory Street in Crescent, Oklahoma. Treating your family as our own. AbernathyAaron.com as a local, member-owned electric cooperative, Cimarron Electric is committed to providing the highest quality of service at a reasonable price. We're dedicated to serving our member owners with integrity, accountability, innovation, and a commitment to community. For more information, call or visit our website. Cimarron Electric Cooperative, serving Northwest Oklahoma since 19... Welcome back. Alva gets a cheap one. Lexi Reams, the long layup, and this one is all but over. Your Lady Gold Bugs will be the 2020 Passion County Line Tournament champions. Let's stay here for a minute and talk about this game, and we'll wrap it up, and then we are going to be blessed with John Hardaway, another Northwest Oklahoma 89er Conference legend. And uh, unfortunately, we don't have three headsets, because if we did, the Internet may explode. I will gladly relinquish my headset for so, Coach Hardaway. Let's just talk real quick about that game just and kind of sum it up and you know you we have discussed it here and there but what a, what a great performance by both teams you know I think the difference is Perez really yes. in this game and so talk on that here real Absolutely. quick. Absolutely I mean she she answered the call they Alva clearly needed somebody to step up I mean Reem is obviously a top-notch player and and top-notch players that don't play great every night and, and Alva had somebody step up and, and fill that role and I mean I I was very very impressed with with her composure and uh, just her ability to, to, to answer the challenge and not bat an eyelash, didn't back down a bit, and, and that was the difference. No doubt. And the other thing, too, major props to Peyton Jones because Peyton gets her points, and at the same time, everyone's trying to stop her. And, and Eric did a great job, I thought, as good yeah. as you can do. When you have an athlete at that right. level, it's just they're just going to get theirs, yeah, you know I what mean, I mean? And, yeah. and she kept her composure the whole time, what right. I like to see. Yeah, you, you can't coach girls to be as tall as she is and run like she does. I mean, that's just – that's the nature of the game, but he he did the best he could with what he had on the floor. I thought his two guards up front did a really good job. Um, I mean, you know, you're putting out that much effort on the defensive end, and then are still expected to get buckets on the offensive end. It was I, effort wise, I mean, nothing to hang their head out about for sure. I mean, they, that's a really good team, and you got to expect they're going to be right back where they where they need to be when they get healthy again. No doubt. Well, that's got to be a you got to be a little excited as a former bug. You know, to see the lady lady bugs win the championship, so that was good for you. You get your first experience on Squirtle. You get to watch the lady bugs win the championship of the county line tournament. I mean, this has got to be one of the four or five best greatest days of your life. Mount Rushmore of days in, in my life for sure. I mean, it's it's my my wedding. It's my kids being born. And probably this. It's um it's winning the week capital championship in 1999, and then it's it's this game. It's this game. It's not a four wheeler ride at Bartell Farm <laughs> one night. Well. That's a different Mount Rushmore <laughs> that we'll talk about after this game's over. Okay. Well, we're going to wrap this one up, and we are actually going to have John Hardaway up here to discuss this boys' final game. And it's thank you again to all the sponsors. We're wrapping up the girls' championship. We'll have the boys' championship shortly. As a local, member-owned electric cooperative, Cimarron Electric is committed to providing the highest quality of service at a reasonable price. We're dedicated to serving our member owners with integrity, accountability, innovation, and a commitment to community. For more information, call or visit our website. Cimarron Electric Cooperative, serving Northwest Oklahoma since 1936 and powering the needs of a new generation.
Northwest Oklahoma is Croft country, and there's no better way to get around it than a vehicle from Croft Chevrolet Buick GMC at 401 East Oklahoma in Alva. They've got the best trucks on the road or in the field, the Chevy Silverados and GMC Sierras. Customize yours with a hay bed, and it becomes the ultimate farmer's office. The 2020s are here, which means you'll find great deals as they move out the 2019 model, not to mention a great selection of pre-owned cars and trucks. Go to CroftChevrolet.com and find your next vehicle. It's always better in the country. Croft Country Chevrolet Buick GMC. Annual checkups, primary care provider, urgent health needs? Come see us at Cashin Community Clinic. With 10 years of experience in rural emergency and primary care, Cameron Hogan is ready to serve you. The Hogan family calls Cashin home and loves contributing through their local community clinic. We accept all insurances and offer very affordable cash pay options as well. So when the need arises, from pediatrics to grandparents, call us at 405 433 5008 or come see Cameron Hogan PAC at the Cashin Community Clinic on Main Street. Go Wildcats! Call Roloffs Inc. at 580 Roloff, a complete container service company for all your trash, demolition, cleanup, or scrap metal needs. We're a family owned and operated company with offices in Stillwater, Perry, and Enid. Call Roloffs Inc. 580 Roloff. 